My name is Irene. I'm Mama. This is my restaurant. My name is Irene, and people call me Mama. And I run a very busy Thai restaurant in Shoreditch in London. The other day, David and Ashley was eating my mushroom risotto and it was so delicious. They asked me where to get the mushroom from and I told them that I picked them myself and they didn't believe me. Lynn is my daughter and we go mushroom picking together nearly over 10 years now. I say to them that if you like, I will take you to my place to pick the mushroom with me. The reason I may never know where we're going is that... Because I've got to blind for you. So this place is top secret. This is the last location that I'll be able to see That's right. before I get blindfolded today. <laughs> this is it. Like this it. is as far as I this can see, it. as far as like, we can go. Can you see all right? No, can I can't see, see a thing. I, I can't see Don't cheat. I wouldn't dream of it. So make sure that you don't bring all your friends and family to come back to take our mushroom next time. <laughs> I also make them switch off the camera. We've been going to the same spot many years. I'm not going to reveal my secret location to anybody. <laughs> We're all ready to go mushroom hunting. You need to adjust your eyes because as you're looking at it, you see leaves and different shades of brown, but then it's like one of those magic eye pictures. When you look closely, it comes up and all of a sudden you're looking at a field of mushrooms. I mean, look at that there. It's a complete line here of Mushrooms go stretching all the way along there, but at first glance it's very camouflaged. You can take potluck with mushroom hunting. You never know two days the same. Sometimes you, you get lows and sometimes you don't get anything at all. Just as you're ready to go home, your luck can change. Ah, oh, it came off so nicely. My first mushroom. Proud I'm going to put it in your basket, Mama, yeah. as a gift to you. The boys had a good start but they didn't pick enough mushroom to make a small omelette. So I decided to take the more secret place to keep it into the wood. I'm going to put my hand next to that to give you that some sense of size. Beauty. It's beauty, baby. Amazing. Cut it Amazing. Amazing. Mama's going to cut it. That took some cutting. Look at that. You can have it then. No, no, no. No, no, you can have it. No. No, you've got to have it. We are fully shroomed up. <laughs> My daughter and I, Lynn, we really pick chanterelle and puccini mushrooms. We make risotto and soup, and also sometimes with pasta. The boys want to pick everything that they can see. So we got a bag called the Bad Boys Mushrooms. So they put everything in that bag. We find all sorts of different colours and different mushrooms, but we wasn't quite sure if it's edible or not. I just picked another one, probably a bad boy. I mean, I just feel like... It's worth a try, and, and we can look it up when we get back and see what see which one, see which variety it is. Even though we've been picking mushroom for many years, you still get confused by it. Hold on, hold on. I don't think it is, you know. Then it is. I don't think it is. Just cut and see. It is. I don't think that is. I honestly don't. Lynn. I put it. Do you know what? There's something slightly different about it. No, because this, I so. asked Lou, and he yeah, said it is. Yeah, but that was the March ones. They were different. They were those orangey. Well, we take it. What do you do with dodgy ones? <laughs> I picked my first porcini and I picked, picked it all on my own and then I just checked with Lynn and it is a good one. Absolutely gorgeous. Donkey. A disturbed... Um, what? Look at that! Oh my God. What is that? Well, well, careful because there's a few around here. Look at that! <laughs> Look at those! At this point, wait for it, we hit the mushroom jackpot. Best year ever, ever. Oh my God. Look at those three. And I'll add that Whoa! to the bunch. Oh, I've broken it. <laughs> oh my God. Hey! That is massive. I've never seen how amazingly beautiful and huge they are. They're fucking massive. They're massive. ridiculous. I've never seen a mushroom so big. Yeah, to find them as we found them today is yeah. like a miracle. Yeah, yeah. A mushroom it's mi a mushroom miracle. A mushroom miracle. <laughs> David and Ashley, they both are fun guys to be with. <laughs> They're really, really fun, fun guys. <laughs> They're lucky mushroom mascot. This is the most successful day that we ever had all the time that we've been mushroom picking. We pick so much mushroom we can't even carry it back into the car. The mushroom is worth quite a lot of money, come to about three or four hundred pounds worth. And that is why I blindfold them before we take them to that place. <laughs> We have picked as much as we can carry and we fill the bad boy's bag full, full to the brim. <laughs> it's a classic one. Look, the toadstool. Oh, when they go wrong, they yeah, really they go, go wrong. Horrible, yeah. Look at that, it's a horror film. 
the mushrooms go wrong. We all go home to my London kitchen for the mushroom feast. We have to blindfold them again. Otherwise, they will find out my secret location. Be careful, so you mind okay. your head, it's quite high. Underpants. This bad boy bag that we collected, the red cap mushroom, is highly poisonous and is called Amanita muscaria, the fly ar agaric. This one, the destroying angel. Deadly poisonous. Deadly poisonous. Deadly poisonous mushrooms. These are seriously poisonous and ingestion usually results in death. The symptoms appear after 10 or more hours, after which organs such as the liver are destroyed. There is no antidote. We picked this mushroom this morning. And now I'm going to clean the top with a damp tissue. Okay, you mustn't wash them at all. They contain quite a lot of moisture in there. You get a sharp knife, then you slice them quite thinly. You lay them on a greasy paper, and then you turn your oven on, leave it there for 24 hours. So halfway through, take them out and turn it over when it's dry on top. Afterwards, they will dry. Soak them in hot water, then squeeze them out and put it in a small bowl and fill it up with milk. Leave them for about five minutes. Garlic, a little bit of spring onions. You take your mushrooms, you squeeze it out of milk, but you can use the milk afterwards. Until the mushroom nice and tender, the garlic, into a sea salt, tiny bit black pepper, spring onions, then you add your pasta. You cook your pasta first. That's why I love to pick the mushroom because it reminds you of you taste like the nature, you taste the woods, you taste the mushrooms. It's totally organic and totally natural, isn't it, Ashley? Mm. Sorry. If you want to go mushroom picking, never eat mushroom if you don't know what it is. Also, be very respectful for Mama Nature. Mmm, mushroom miracle. <laughs>